Hey folks, so today we're going to talk about the Old Town Autopilot 136. Um, before we begin this video, I want to thank June from More Than Fishing. Um, when I went out uh, fishing with him um, in San Francisco Bay, uh, Old Town saw that video and they contacted him. And you know, after a few email exchange, this is the result right here. So thank you, June. And I also want to thank Old Town. And Old Town gave me this kayak for free in exchange for my honest feedback. Okay, so let's go over it really quick. Now, I've never owned a kayak before. I've never been in a kayak before. So this is all new to me. And so what you're gonna hear is just like a, you know, honest, simple opinion about a first time kayak owner, all right? So I guess uh, the best thing to do is just, we're gonna go over the specs and the features and just my first impression of this kayak. All right, so I got the spec sheet uh, that came with a kayak right here. Okay, so the length is, um, it's a 13 foot, six inches, so 13 and a half foot, uh, 37 inches width. Um, the assembled boat weight is 158 pounds. That's pretty hefty. Uh, this is like much, much bigger than I expected when I, uh, when I came off the truck. I was like, wow, this is, this is quite a bit. The motor weighs 24 pounds and the total weight capacity is 660 pounds. Uh, usable weight capacity is 427 pounds for a 100 amp hour battery. Um, maximum battery life is 25 hours. Probably not gonna last that long. Uh, typically, it's gonna last about eight hours, okay? And full throttle on the 100 amp hour battery is about two hours. Okay, so up front here, uh, carry handle up front right here. And here we have a storage. Uh, looks like I'll be putting my, uh, probably my depth finder battery in there and other stuff. And then uh, we got probably the main feature of the kayak. This is what I've been waiting for. This is what I wanted for a long time. Minn Kota Autopilot, very awesome motor. The best thing about this motor is the spot lock. There's two things I, I plan on doing with this uh, motor when I get it out into the water. Um, the spot lock is just gonna be, it's gonna be pretty awesome. You know, like staying in one spot, uh, crab hawking, uh, tossing crab snare in the bay, and also if I find a cliff, um, I can just spot lock and stay right on that cliff and just fish that cliff. So this is, this is pretty awesome. This is probably, probably the best feature of this kayak. We have, um, looks like a wire grommet for your wiring for your fish finder. And then we have a track mount. And then you have uh, foot pedals right here. Um, that's for uh, controlling the rudder, uh, turning left and right. You have a little compartment here for uh, maybe a small tag box or tools. Uh, forward facing rod holders. Then you got another handle here. And you have a... Um, and then we got a cup holder. Now this is, this is non-draining, so you want to make sure maybe you have a sponge with you. Okay, and then we have the deck. Oh boy, the deck is huge. So when I get in, guys, when I get in, look at this. Look at all that room in the front. Very, very awesome, okay? Uh, we got foam padded decks. And then we have, looks like two, four, six, eight scupper holes. And then we have a, uh, looks like a mesh seat. Um, it picks up, it comes up like that. Okay, and then looks like there is two positions. Is it two? Yeah, there's two positions you can uh, mount the seat. So it comes off and then it goes um, at the top here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you have a, um, a high position and low position. But I think I'm gonna keep it down here because I don't want my center of gravity to be too high. All right, coming back here, uh, we have a very large compartment right here for your tackle box or other storage. And then the seat lifts up and then you have uh, another compartment here. And looks like this one, you can store other stuff in it or you want to reach down here you want to put like a uh, like a backing plate somewhere so it's easier to reach and then we have the battery box now the battery box it looks like it can take a size 27 battery and then you have your uh, tackle box that comes with the other peripheral you have your uh, remote for your Minn Kota motor okay you have your kill switch and then uh, looks like uh, more wiring grommets um, and uh, a lanyard for your remote, um, dielectric compound. Okay, so this is for your uh, the, the contacts 
for these electrical components. So you make sure you want to put that on so that way the, uh, the connections don't corrode. Very, very important. All right, so we have, looks, this is, okay, this is the uh, prop pin. Um, looks like a prop washer and, sorry, prop nut, okay? And then you got your, your prop pin, okay? And then an Allen wrench. All right, and then inside here we also have, okay, that's a prop for the motor. Okay, and right here you have your, looks like your, uh, your rudder. Your rudder deployment lever right here, pull it up and that rudder comes right out, just like that. And then you have your rear facing uh, rod holder and they're on both sides of the kayak. And this is your motor mount cover right here. Okay, and then back here, holy moly, we got a lot of room back here. Um, bungee cords for you to, you know, tie down your um, gear. And I can probably sit back here and, you know, Kevin, you can sit right there. That's pretty awesome. I can put another seat right here or even just go like this because the maximum capacity is like over 600 pounds. Um, plenty of room for us. Okay, and then we have the uh, uh, track mount here. Um, people, I saw other videos where people were saying this is too far back. Uh, I don't know. It is a little far back when you think about it. I mean, can I reach it? Yeah, it is kind of far back, but you know, you can put another track mount right here. It's not a big deal. So, so you have pretty much four track mounts. That's, a, that's pretty awesome. Okay, moving to the back here, we have uh, four screws, um, shallow water anchor mount, all right? And then you have uh, molded handles right here on the back, two of them. Okay, and then on this side, you have your oar mounts, okay? And then the oar strap just clicks on just like that. Very cool. And then we have our, looks like a dry storage. Yep. Uh, it, it's going to rub against a strap here on your seat. So that looks like it does have a rubber gasket so that there's no, no water can get in. So your keys, your wallet, cell phone can all go in that uh, storage bin right there. Then you, you have your other uh, uh, cup holder. Again, non-draining cup holders, and it looks like that's a kill switch. And then rear, uh, sorry, forward-facing rod holder again. Uh, more compartments here to put your uh, tools, pliers. And then you have uh, another track mount and more grommets for your uh, fish finder wiring, okay? And also, if you have a measuring board, uh, looks like it will go right there. Pretty nice. And you can store this uh, yeah, right there. Perfect. Right under the, uh, the foot um, pedal. All right. And the seat is adjustable. Uh, let's see. If you want to make the uh, back here tilt back more, just loosen the strap on both sides. Okay. Like that. So you can adjust it any way you like. So that's, that's really cool. Okay, right there. And here's the bottom of the kayak. Um, looks like we have like a catamaran style and we have a center keel in the middle there. So just give you a quick shot of the bottom of the kayak. Okay, right up here folks, it's uh, the transducer mount right there. And it's got a pretty nice plate and you can mount your transducer like that. This is a Hummingbird Helix 5 transducer mount. And it looks like, yep, looks like the Hummingbird transducer is going to fit. Okay. To me, it just looks a little bit exposed. I'm not sure. Um, I'll, I'll look at it more when I mount my transducer. But as of right now, you got the two sides here. Um, if this came up a little bit higher, it might be better. But anyways, your transducer mount is at the bottom in the front and this hole right here that's where the motor comes out so it's just right in front of the motor so here is a final shot of the kayak 
with everything off and as you can see boy there's a lot of space a lot of deck space especially in the back here I can put a lot of gear coolers rods other tackle box okay and then you got more storage right there battery box and then there's a big open deck foam padded deck so this kayak uh it looks really stable it's pretty wide 37 inches um stability has always been my main concern in the kayak i've never been in one but i imagine just kind of looking at it initially it looks really stable so yeah that's about it folks and i want to especially thank old town for providing this kayak um so many good adventures coming up soon and in the next video i'm going to uh, do a initial setup and uh plan for the maiden voyage all right that's about it, folks. Thanks for watching. Have fun fishing. Tight line.